Hello, my Virgos. How are you? My name is Misty the Mystic. My angels, guides, and I welcome you to Sugarfoot Tarot. Um, and I've purchased some gorgeous flowers, and it smells so good in here. Dharma is swimming around here somewhere. Uh, this is for your sun, moon, and rising. You shouldn't have to check your Venus because there shouldn't be any love in this reading. This is your general life, everyday life for Virgos, May 2020. And hello to my cross watchers. We have a full moon on the 7th, new moon on the 22nd, and of course it goes into Gemini on the 21st. Um, my beautiful earth signs and um, by meditating on you I'm seeing that you're loving being you know you're my wallflower of the zodiac sign you're enjoying being home and as I was meditating this fell out and um, you know you've made sure that you've saved enough money some of you still may be working on the side or your portfolio or things are doing well where you're still making money so life is good for some of you very nice um, I've chosen the Everyday Witch Tarot. And let's go ahead and begin, shall we? Okay. Virgos, May 2020, life in general. Let's cut the deck. So yeah, the tower, life has crashed, money markets have crashed, um, life has just been, ran you ragged, ran the whole world ragged, and you are on earth sign, so you feel it off the earth, and money is extremely important to you, um, but you're going to rebuild, I have been harping on this, and so has all everyone else in my modality, for six months, or longer, that the world was going to crash, and that we had to rebuild, that's okay, we're going to rebuild, so there's a tower, A-okay, first one up. Seven of Wands. So there is some struggle going on. Struggle by you not working, um, not being able to make enough money, dealing with people, people wanting stuff from you, um, people overstepping their boundaries from you. Um, definitely some struggles. We, need to, we may need to pull a card on this. Um, yeah, and it's happened before. You got that black cat. So this is a recurring thing in your life. So this whole thing is going to lift February of 2021. Um, so you have time to heal and to set boundaries up and to be tough and not allow people to treat you the way they've treated you, or this could be yourself, you treating yourself this way, um, towards the middle and the end of the, of May, they're going to lift the band. We'll be able to get out and about a little bit, maybe go back to work. And then by the end of summer, we're all going to get sick again, and have to go back in. So, um, but uh, yeah, so there's some interesting healing that needs to be done, some shadow work that needs to be taken care of. Five of Cups, all you can see is is what has fallen in front of you. Um, whew, you know, you feel what's going on with the earth, my Virgos, and money is down, people are sick, people are not doing well. It's you do you feel it? You have this is you have felt it, and you are feeling it, and it's going to be a rough month, and this is part of the struggle. That you are going through. Uh, but behind you is all goodness. This too shall pass. I know you've heard this a million times on the news. Um, but you, we will celebrate again. Most certainly. So yeah. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. You know. All this stuff that's being pointed at you. All this stuff that you want to get done. All these ideas that you're like. I could be doing this. I could be doing that. And I'm stuck inside. And I can't do it. You're going to pick one of these wands up. And you're going to do it. This this will be the month that you'll be able to get started motioning on our new life, our new world that's going to come in fruition on or before February 2021. So not all lost. So all this stuff that's going on, your scatterbrand, just tick one of these wands, one of these ideas, one of these tasks. You're going to pick this up and going to make it happen. So that's very nice. Very nice. Ugh, nine of swords. I mean, you just worry. You have worried and fretted about money, the world, family, yourself. Fear that yourself, that you're going to be ill. Um, but look, the new day is dawning. It's coming up. It's not ending. You may think it's ending, but it's not. The birds are chirping. The world is coming up. Times are changing and things are only good's going to come out of this. My, my, my beautiful Virgos. One more card. Yeah. You know, air sign. So I see fire. 
I see fire in here. I see emotions in here. I see wind. Um, winds of change have come. So you're going to make great strides towards the end of the month. It may be Gemini season. season so around May 21st, you will see life moving. Okay. Oh my goodness. Wonderful, wonderful. Till next month, my Virgos. Recycle the love. Bye-bye.